I'm Jonathan Mason. I am the building manager of the Solstice Center. I've been running the building as far as the operations go for quite a long time. And what I do is I am basically the host of the building. And I, I get all the emails and the phone calls from people who want to rent the space. And I, am, I set up the schedule and uh, work out the financial arrangements with them and make sure that they are all happy here and uh, feeling comfortable about renting, that they understand the door locks and the lights and, and uh, just the other people who might be renting around them. So I'm really the host of the building. And my job is, is interfacing with the public that wants to use this spot, this beautiful building. And it's always amazing to me to see how many people come in here and say, this is such a great space. And, you know, it has a great healing energy, makes me feel great. And uh, I often think about the way it was when I first started and the way the building was before it got remodeled, before Peter and Vardon launched the process of, of rebuilding. And that process, when I first started working here, it was about 1991. And the space rental job, the, the, the manager job, was helped by a woman named Audrey Link, and she was going off to do other things, and so at that time in my life I was ready for a change, and I had been involved with, with Faradon and this building prior to me being the manager, and I was involved in the sense that I was part of the Time Weave group that, that was in this building. This building was the the headquarters for a nonprofit called Timeweave. So Timeweave was a really interesting group of folks that got together to put on festivals and that experiment ran its course a little bit and Vardon was still uh, part owner of the building and around the time that I started working here he decided he was going to go to India and his life completely changed and he was going to go off and study Ayurveda um, and we had a going away ceremony for him, a very beautiful one, and that sort of left me holding the ropes of everything. And so while he was in India, we would send emails back and forth about the way things were going, and it wasn't more than a month after he left that the fire department came by here. By the time I started working here in 1991, the building was, was already sort of a repository of... of equipment and gear that was uh, destined for a sort of a sustainable experiments. Because there was a lot of stuff in the back alley that was stacked up that was, you know, possibly could be used for water, hot water heating system and solar panels. And the fire department came by about a month after I started working. And, and at this time, Vardon was in India. And they did an inspection. And they said, well, all of the material that's stored in the attic and the basements and also the alleyways and the closets, that all needs to be cleared because it's really, you know, the, it's against the fire code. So we're going to give you about a month to, to fix that up. And that was my first challenge. And I look, I look back at that as sort of the initiation that I had for the building. Um, I had a month and I had a lot of help because at that time, we rented some of the offices to Renaissance Adventures, who are still clients of ours. And Aaron Huey, who was the assistant director, really helped me with carting all of the stuff off to the dump. It really did take about a month of, of concentrated work. And we filled up the, the patio here full of stuff. And all this time we were renting. I was renting the space, so we had to clean it up. And it was an initiation for me because we did clean the building up and I was communicating with Varadhan in India. And after that, it really felt like a fresh start with, with the space rental. And it, for, for many years, the, the job of renting has been the same. The only difference really has been how much the building has been remodeled since I first started working here. And it's, it's been such a huge, impressive remodel and I always am struck by people when they come in and say, you know, it feels beautiful in here and uh, calming, like there's good energy. And, and I have to remind myself that even when the building was 
more in a state of disrepair before it got remodeled, it, it still had the same attraction to people. We still were able to rent it. Uh, the only difference is that now, when we're renting it, not only does it feel good, but it really looks good, and every, everything about it has come together in a really positive way. So for me, the, seeing the transition before the remodeling was done and after, has, um, it's been quite remarkable. And it's continued to bring a lot of joy to me to be able to show the space to people and to know that they are bringing something of worth here that, that comes from their heart. They are putting on an event here and they know that this is a, a sacred and safe place to be. So my role has been the host in making, pe you know, making sure people are set up so they know, you know how to get in the building and, and use the building and, and leave it. And it's a very clean, it's a very clean uh, dynamic. And it is an re important relationship with the people uh, that I have that use the building. Um, and it's been in synergy with the effort that Vardon and Peter undertook to remodel the whole place. There's been a great synergy in, in the bringing, bringing together of that effort to, to really bring the space up to physically the standards that it energetically are already had. And I like to tell people sometimes that the building has always been a vehicle for transformation in the sense that many years ago the big room for instance used to be a, an auto body shop and then it was an electrical shop and so there was a transformation of a material thing you know the cars and the, and now you know well then the, the Rolf Institute ended up owning the building and they were transforming people's bodies you know working on people's bodies and now the same transformation is going on. There's just a more subtle level, and it's through all the workshops and the meditations that we have. And so I've been very pleased to be a part of all that and to help facilitate that and, and to see the changes. Right, remodeling the building while it was being rented was a, a big challenge. And my, my nature as a documenter came out, and I did bring my camera out to, to follow all the, the little stories of of how things were changing. It was fascinating. It was, it was fun to watch that rebuilding happen. Um, at times it was challenging to get people to, to have the rental happening at the same time, but we managed to make it work. And of course it was, my brain got completely scrambled when I had kids in the middle of all that. So somehow we made it through as like a vortex of, of construction and baby construction as well. <laughs> but. Um, and the kids grew up here, more or less. My, my children have seen this building and been part of the construction process, really, even though they didn't realize it, they, they were part of it.